Sadhguru, the number of projects you handle, Isha handle, are numerous and I mean, how do you handle that? I mean, do you have that like a very clear blueprint in your mind? Even if you do, <laughs> how do you bring the volunteers to exactly execute what's in your mind? I have the most wonderful people around me. This is the biggest gift, I have most wonderful people around me. Apart from that, this will be very hard for your uh, viewers to digest, but let them have little indigestion, let them sit up and think about this. As I sit here, I'm talking to you, am I talking sensibly? Yes. Do I look focused? Very. Very. Nobody has ever seen me unfocused on anything. But at the same time, I have at least twelve to fourteen tracks running in my mind all the time. I'm sure. So I may be talking to you, but I'm sorting out many, many things. That means, in a way, compared to a whole lot of people, if they think one thing, they can't think the other thing. I have fourteen people in one. I could increase the range if I want, I'm just little lazy. So, I don't want to spread it. If little more striving, I can spread it much more. But, you know, here and there I enjoy little bit of laziness. I thought twelve, fourteen tracks are enough and they're running well. So, at the same time, I'll be designing something, I'll be creating something, I'll be preparing something, everything will be happening at the same time. This is what being human means. Unfortunately, most people utter the word human only with reference to the limitations of being human. Very rarely anybody says, I am human, referring to the immensity of being human. They're always saying, oh, I am only human. <laughs> so, this is what I want them to realize. This is what Adiyogi means, one hundred and twelve different ways through which you can find solutions of transformation, solutions or means for transformation for your immediate needs and for your ultimate needs, both. This dimension of science where he's talking about the entire nuts and bolts of human mechanism and the nuts and bolts of cosmic mechanism and how these two things will fit into each other absolutely without any friction. How you can be a part of the cosmos, how the cosmos can be a part of you. This is not logically correct, but when the Saptarishis asked him, what is the nature of this existence? Where does it begin? Where does it end? How big is it? He laughed and he said, I can pack the entire cosmos into your mustard seed. So then they asked, if you can pack everything into a mustard seed, is it big, is it small? What is its nature? What's its composition? How can it be big and small at the same time? By then he was bored with them. <laughs> then he just said like this, five. The, they're just five elements. If these five elements, if you understand, if you grasp these five elements, you grasp the entire creation. The physical world is finished with five elements – earth, water, fire, air and space. If you know these things, you know everything. With these five things, how much mischief? Just see. Can you believe with five elements, just with five ingredients, how many things have been created in this cosmos? So he just said this, this all you need to get. So that's why we called him Bhuteshwara, the master of five elements. <laughs>